Hey everybody, this is Space Kettlecorn here. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Thanks for subscribing and uh, and following my page here. I've uh, been in business now for four years. This year will be my fifth year. And I get a lot of questions on where I get my bags and containers from. And so this video is we're going to talk about bags and containers here. This is actually one of the containers I get from my retail. And as I'm tasting this popcorn here, this is my caramel corn mix. It's actually still pretty fresh. I have a few different flavors here to try too. This is my kettlecorn. And uh, with a, with a caramel corn, I use a glaze pop, and everything is still crunchy. In fact, this is actually four weeks from now, and the one thing I notice is that the, the they do a pretty good job of keeping everything fresh. The one thing that I've learned since moving to Maryland from California is that the bags will uh, keep fresh differently in different states. In Maryland, for example, we have something called humidity that really affects the quality of your popcorn. So in those containers there. They do a really good job. I, I also thought about ordering these containers, but I decided not to because they are too expensive online. They wanted $1.52 per container, and that comes with a lid. So I'm going to actually use these for my seeds. I just have some seeds uh, that I send to customers and family members back home, and they do a pretty good job of storing the seeds. And so I sell those in seeds. Maybe I might do those in roasted nuts where um, I, I sell them for a little bit more. But for right now, I decided to not use those for popcorn and I decided to go with the deli containers. The deli containers are actually $0.32 cents a container. And I also want to put those with the cotton candy. And as I mentioned in the other cotton candy video, the cotton candy actually decreases in size over a while. So this has been about three weeks from now. And in three weeks, you can already see the, the difference in the size of the, of the cotton candy. And that's where um, I'm talking about here. You can actually see the difference. And then pretty much what my friend told me is that just sell it at a discount. So... If that's the case, what I might do during the during the season is sell it for like three dollars or two dollars versus the five dollars. I also want to make cotton candy fresh this year, so this is actually what my clear bags look like from Poly LLC. Uh, Ninety percent of the time, customers are pretty fine with them for that day. If you put it back in your house, they'll probably last a little bit longer. But at the farmers market, when it's really hot and humid, this popcorn actually starts going stale after three days with these bags. And in California, there's no humidity at all; they'll actually start going bad within. Uh, one to two weeks. So the time difference is very different from California to Maryland. I, di I didn't really experience humidity that much when I lived in California and then when I moved to Maryland. Oh boy, as soon as you start popping the kettle corn after a few minutes, the, the popcorn will get soggy. That is actually one of the hardest things I have about doing this concession business. What I hope to do is eventually get an indoor machine and actually pop to do retail indoor for an indoor machine, like maybe get a trailer so that help me with the weather. These are my medium uh, kettle corn bags for Poly LLC. I decided to not go with the large bags because the large bags are too long and they're hard for me to kind of set on the table. So that's what my medium bags look like. I charge $7 to the kettle corn and I charge $8 for the flavors. The other company that I use for, uh, clear, um, for, for the clear bags um, besides Poly LLC is I'll, I'll sometimes use four star plastics. Um, the only drawback to that is that they're hard to open up as you can see here. And I decided to go back with four, um, with Poly LLC, but they had a delay during COVID. So I have sometimes two to three companies as a backup. And in fact, there's another company called Clear Bags. What I actually might do is use a, a Ziploc bag one of these days. But here are these small bags that I, t that I also have for Clear, uh, Poly LLC. A four star plastic, those bags are very similar. But with four star plastics, um, the bags are much harder to open. And with Poly LLC, I really like when you're in a big rush and, and you do like let's say four to six hundred dollars or more in a day. You're, the timing is really important to getting all those bags out there and all those flavors out there. So that's one of the drawbacks of four star plastics. And you might even have some local bag companies in your area. And if you want to do that, then that's you know more power to you. I really like Poly LLC. They've always been very friendly, and they send me the bags clear. I do not really care for the yellow coloring. I see a lot of people using those bags, and it looks like, you know, it, it stands too much like somebody else's company. I wanted to use a blank bag to where I can use my labels, and that way I can have it, you know, be very brand distinct to where it's my own brand. I don't want somebody else's brand on my popcorn. This is my popcorn, not somebody else's. So that's why I decided to go with uh, the clear bags. Every time I call Poly LLC, I remind them that, hey, send me some of those clear bags, and the shipping is also very fast. They sent it out that day. I've never had any issue with them. They've been 100% reliable, and I really appreciate them. Every time I talk to them on the phone, the guy, he's awesome. He's really cool. And in here, in this uh, shot here, you'll see what my labels look like. I think I did that a little bit too close. 
So I will um, post a, uh, what they look like um, on the thing here with another picture. But here is how they peel off. And with these labels, I get these labels from Print Place. Print Place, I ordered like something like $137 uh, for $2,000 in a, a box. And it worked out to be something like $0.06 cents, uh, a label. And they stick out, they stick really well. The only drawback to these labels is that they're not waterproof. And I'll show you here, sticking them on a container. Boom, there we go. And then it's very easy. In fact, that's what, one of the things that I have my helper do while I cook. My helper is in charge of cleaning, and I'm in charge of handling the, the, the um, bags and helping bag. My helper also helps me bag, but she mostly handles the cash and offers the samples um, when I offer samples. In fact, when I start doing gourmet popcorn, when I buy my caramelizer, that's one of the goals that I plan on doing this year as well. If uh, my sales go as, as planned, I plan on buying a caramelizer to, and then selling the, the, the caramel corn from the caramelizer in those as well, plus selling the, the caramel corn because I have some customers requesting the, the gourmet caramel corn, and I'll probably sell that at a different price. So these are some of the things that I'm going to be going through as time goes on. I've done a lot of research over the years on bags, and I keep going back to Poly LLC because, man, they're they're awesome. For those people who ask about having their labels on the bags, that's one thing that I will probably may or may not do down the road. The, the bags are so much cheaper um, when you use a label. So if you want to have a la label on your bag, like the one label I have here, where it's three or four colors, um, Poly LLC does that as well, but they do a 5,000 bag minimum. So... Um, I don't have a 5,000 bag minimum area yet for my storage area. Actually, I kind of do now that I have a better place. But I don't have a lot of room in my th in my transit. So I'm going to have to maybe see about how much the cost differential is to having your own label on the bag versus um, having a label that you put on. But for right now, it's like $0.06 cents for each bag from Poly LLC and $0.06 cents for the labels. And I can't be any more happier with uh, that. And hopefully they don't close up or go out of business you know, the best thing for your business is the most, you know, thing that you have to worry about is consistency. So that's one of the things that I really like about Poly LLC. I try to be as consistent as possible. So with my large bags, I went with four-star plastics because I decided to go the rounder bags. And the rounder bags I like because they fit better on the tables. And I can fit six or so large bags. Um, and they're basically like two mediums. And I charge $11. I think I'm going to go up to $12 this year for my mediums. And they fly off the shelves, no problem. So you get, you know, if you save a few dollars rather than buying two mediums, and then I charge three mediums for 20. My flavors, I charge a dollar more, and the dollar is for the flavors cost. And then that's pretty much it, folks. And, you know, that extra dollar really helps for each bag to, to set, substitute the, the flavor. And, of course, sugar costs less, so that's why I charge $7 versus 8 And so if, um, let me know in the comments, guys, what your prices are. And to see if uh, you guys have raised your prices this year. That's one of the things that I'm going to be looking into to see what, what my actual costs are. I decided to sign up to somebody named Score. And thanks for watching, you guys. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to write down below. Thanks for following and liking my page. I started my business four years ago. And um, this year is my fifth season. It's getting better and better each year. I'm learning more and more and becoming more and more stable I'm finally seeing, seeing my, my sales go up and like thinking that, oh, well, I'm not such a failure after all, and I am also a disabled business owner. So thanks for following, everybody, and uh, thanks for liking my page. Any further questions, also, you can follow me on Facebook. Um, and, again, I hope you guys have a good year this year. If you're starting out and having any further questions, feel free to send me a message or an email or um, a question on YouTube. If you're going to do a phone call, I charge $25 for a phone consultation. Alright guys, this is me, this is Kettle Corn. Thanks for watching.